Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In my last one, I discussed the power of compounding and based on the annualized return, I projected that my portfolio is going to grow to between $2.6 million and $4.5 million by the time I'm ready to retire at age 60. And that might seem crazy that I'll become a millionaire because currently my stock portfolio is only worth $22,928, but that's the power of compound interest. And you probably saw this quote on your Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, but one of the most famous quotes about compound interest is linked to Albert Einstein when he said, Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. But the theme of today's video can be summarized by another quote. This one is by Lawrence J. Peter, and he said, If you don't know where you're going, you will probably end up somewhere else. So today, I want to show you where I'm going and tell you about my ultimate investing goal. Well, you already read the title, so you already know the number, but I want to explain why $120,000 specifically is my ultimate investing goal. But first, let me lay down some facts about my stock portfolio so things are a bit easier to follow. I invest with M1 Finance, and even though I have four accounts with them, two of my biggest accounts are Roth IRAs, and I'm relying on them to get to the million dollars that I just mentioned. As of recording this video in September of 2020, I can contribute $6,000 annually into each Roth IRA, which works out to about $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year to fully fund both of my Roth IRAs. So going back to the question of the day, why $120,000? The first reason is because I'll reach $120,000 much faster than if I set a larger goal, for example, $1 million. In my compound interest video, I calculated I'll hit $2.6 million when I'm 60, but if I were to hit my first $1 million, it's going to take me almost 22 years. Of course, I'm investing for the long term, so waiting 22 years is not going to be a big issue, but yet again, it's going to take me 22 years if I set $1 million my goal to reach. But to hit $120,000, it's only going to take me five and a half years. By setting my goals to a number that's going to take less time for me to reach, I get to experience these fast wins and it's going to energize me and it's going to get me motivated and keep on pushing me to keep going. And even though I might disagree with him on the use of credit cards, Dave Ramsey said it best when he recommends the snowball method when it comes to, for his example, paying down debt. Basically, the snowball method is you pay off the smallest debt off first and then you move on to the next smallest one and the next smallest one. And by doing this, even though mathematically you might pay a bit more in interest, by getting these smaller debts paid off, you get that initial win. And it helps keep people stay motivated and it makes them believe that they're able to tackle the larger debt as well. So it allows them to push through and finally become debt free. And it is once again this feeling of accomplishment of taking care of those small debts first that pushes people to reach their goal. And I relate that to investing as well. If you start off at zero dollars and you want to grow your portfolio to a million dollars, it's going to get daunting really quick. Instead, it's better for you to say, I'm going to work towards a $1,000 portfolio or a $10,000 portfolio. So as you hit each milestone, you get confident and you get motivated to push through and you go on to the larger milestones. In the same way, I apply this to my YouTube channel as well. Even though I would love to get to a million subscribers, that's not my ultimate goal. My current goal is always to get the next 10 subscribers because that's a number that, you know, I can more or less hit every week. But if you want to help me out and get to that 1 million subs, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so YouTube can show my videos to more people. With that said, of course, I'll be celebrating each milestone I pass, and I honestly can't wait for my portfolio to hit that 25000 50000 75000 and even that coveted $100,000 mark. But $120,000 is going to be special, because at that number specifically, my portfolio annual market gain is going to equal my yearly Roth IRA contributions. And I'll write it all off right now so it's a bit easier for you guys to follow. When my portfolio hits $120,000 and I can assume the average market return of 10%, the market gain that I'm going to get from that $120,000 is going to be $12,000 for the year. And you know what else is $12,000? Yep, the total annual contribution limit for my two Roth IRAs. Assuming that the government doesn't up the limits like they did. But the following year is when the fun part begins. My portfolio will be worth $132,000 and with a 10% return, my market gain will be $13,200, which will be surpassing the $12,000 limit that I'll be putting into my Roth IRAs. 
Net difference is going to keep growing until my portfolio finally reaches a million dollars. At 10%, that's going to give me a market gain of $100,000 in one year against my deposit of $12,000. And by now, you might be thinking the same thing that my wife is thinking, that I have a very monotone voice, so maybe you can't hear the excitement. But I'm seriously can't wait for my portfolio to read this coveted $120,000 to kickstart everything. Depending on how my portfolio performs, the dollar amount specifically will be different. If I went with the 12.52%, which I got from my M1 Finance over the past two years, I'll be celebrating this milestone when my portfolio hits $95,846.65. But you know, to keep it conservative at the average market return of 10%, I decided on $120,000. Besides, $120,000, it just flows better than $95,846.65. So there you have it. Now you know why $120,000 is my ultimate financial milestone. And now that you know mine, leave a comment down below on what dollar amount you're looking to pass with your own portfolio. Is it $100,000, $1 million, or maybe $100 million? Whatever it is, I'd like to know. And in five and a half years from now, when my portfolio finally does reach the $120,000, I'll make sure to post a video celebrating that milestone. And if that's the type of journey that you think you'll be happy to witness, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to smash the like button. And as always, if you want to get started on your own investment journey, use my M1 Finance referral link in the description to get your free $10 when you sign up and fund your free account. You can also get two free stocks when you open and fund your free Webull account at $100. And finally, Robinhood will hook you up with another free stock when you sign up as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Happy investing as always. I'll catch you next time with more shenanigans.